So someone left a really interesting comment the other day and I thought it deserved its own video. Hey, can you make a video on phytoestrogens and products like soy and flax? It's the only thing stopping me from giving up chicken. I've already gave up dairy for this reason and feel better, but I see no vegan alternatives to meat that don't have high amounts of phytoestrogens. Thanks. Okay, well this person already gave up dairy because of its high estrogen content and a lot of people worry about the phytoestrogens and things like soy without realizing dairy does contain high amounts of female hormones, which have been shown to raise estrogen levels and reduce testosterone levels. The difference between the estrogen found in cow's milk and the estrogen found in plants like soy or flax is the estrogen found in cow's milk is mammalian estrogen, so it's identical to the estrogen produced by your own body, whereas the estrogen in plants like soy is of course, phytoestrogen. It does not affect your hormone levels in any way. This recent meta-analysis found no effect of soy or isoflavone supplements to alter bioavailable testosterone concentrations in men. So this claim that soy raises estrogen levels and lowers testosterone levels is just a myth that's based off of very old, flawed data. Also, fiber is a huge component of ridding your body of excess estrogen, as fiber soaks up estrogen in your colon and you literally shit it out. So eating a lower fiber diet filled with meat will surely raise your estrogen levels. So if you're choosing chicken or any meat as a protein source over soy, which actually contains fiber, you'll be raising your estrogen levels through that pathway alone. Chickens also have the highest phthalate concentration of any food, and phthalates are chemicals that are used to make plastics, and they are known as plasticizers, as they make plastics more flexible. So what are the effects of these chemicals in the human body? Well, they reduce testosterone levels in men, reduce fertility in men, they decrease thyroid function, they increase risk of obesity and diabetes, and infants with prenatal phthalate exposure have shrunken penises, and phthalate exposure in children has been associated with a reduced IQ. So yeah, chicken or any meat for that matter is not a good source of protein if you want to lower your estrogen levels. And I hope that helps some of you. As always, I link the research I referenced in the description down below. And also be sure to leave a comment or any questions you have. I'll try and answer most of them. And as always, keep making those vegan gains. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.